now we will see the beam management how beam management works so it is important that uh, you stay connected with me to the last of the video and if you are watching this video on youtube please click on the red subscribe button and bell button to enable the email email notification if watching this video on facebook then please click to like and follow the page now we will see the beam management how beam management works here you can see from a and b figure a and b uh, when we use low and mid range of the frequency we can transmit signal in all direction yeah relatively in wide range however when we use very high frequency we do not have much choice except using the high antenna array as a resulting radiation pattern become a beam you can see in figure c in figure c uh, why beam management is required yeah why beam control is required as you can see in figure a and b uh, in case of low and mid range frequency without using massive antenna array a signal transmission would cover a lot of us simultaneously however when they, however when the radiation become a beam shaped in figure c it is very difficult to cover the multiple ue in single transmission unless those multiple ue are located in very close approximately multiple devices are scattered in all directions so we need a some idea for managing beam to cover the multiple device which is scattered in all directions uh, actually beam management or yeah, control it's a very difficult when the uh, transmitter has no information on the location of the device yeah, a user uh, let's think of the flowing case uh, there is a base station with massive mimo Uh, operating at very high frequency there is a ue around the base stations and ue and you are the just about to turning on the ue that is you are switching on the ue once the ue switch on it would start the synchronization process for this step this station would transmit the special signal called synchronization signals and signal would be able to reach to every ue around the base stations but here is the same serious problem with the base station sending signal in beam and it is fact that signal beam can point a very narrow area and it can't cover a very wide area at same time now here question is that how base station make the signal with the ue if transmitter has no information of the received location a uh, lot of the solution for this issue but one important and famous solution is you can see in a video in this video uh, this station transmit the beam to a specific direction at a specific time and then change the direction a little bit in a next time frame so and until it can scan all area it should cover is picture on dekh sakte how beam is covering all the direction and trying to synchronize with the ue इस वीडियो में आपको कंप्लीट आपको दिख सकता है हाउ बी वर्क टू आइडेंटिफाई द यू इफ इट इज इन डिफरेंट लोकेशन
now we will discuss over the ldpc uh, ldpc is the low density parity check अगर हम एल की बात करें तो उसमें चैनल कोडिंग के लिए जो टेक्नोलॉजी यूज हुआ है वो है टेल बीट कॉन्वोलेशन कोडिंग एंड टर्बो कोडिंग बट इन 5G जी लो डेंसिटी पेरिटी चेक एल डी पी सी इज यूज एंड इट इज रिप्लेसिंग दैट टर्बो कोडिंग एंड पोलर कोडिंग इज रिप्लेसिंग दैट टी बी सी सी टेल बीट कॉन्वोलेशन कोडिंग अगर हम एल की बात करें इन एल टी टर्बो कोडिंग इज रिलेटिवली सिंपल टर्बो कोडिंग इज रिलेटिवली सिंपल एट इन कोडिंग फेस बट कॉम्प्लेक्स इन डी कोडिंग फेस इन फाइव जी एल डी पी सी इज नॉट ए सिंपल एज ए टर्बो कोडिंग एट इन कोडिंग फेस बट मच सिंपलर इन डी कोडिंग फेस सो इस तरीके से जो फाइव जी में है ये जो चैनल कोडिंग के लिए जो टेक्नोलॉजी जो यूज हो रहे थे पहले टेलबिट कॉन्फ्लेशन कोडिंग एंड टर्बो कोडिंग अब जो होगा एल डी पी सी एंड पोलर कोडिंग विल बी यूज फॉर दैट पर्पज Here you can see for the BCH, DCI, UCI, DLCH, ULCS, a different coding algorithm is used. Uh, so for DLCH, LDPC coding and ULCH, LDPC is used. Remaining DCI, DCS, UCI, polar coding is used. Uh, now uh, we will discuss about the SDAP, Service Data Adaptation Protocol. 5G NR radio protocol stack architecture is almost same as LT protocol stack. I would not describe much detail on each component of the protocol stack in this video. It is too much to describe everything in single video. SDAP is completely new layer added to NR on top of PDCP. Main role of SDAP is to apply a quality of services for each of data stream. In LT as a LT and WCDM. Uh, 5G in our radio protocol stack has two different stack depend on type of the data that is processed by the stack. If the data is a signaling message, it goes through the control plane stack and if it is user uh, data, then it goes through the user plane stack. In LT, user, in LT, user plane and control plane is made up of a common structure like FIFI. A Mac, RLC, PDCP, but in 5G and R, in case of user plane, layer SDAP is sitting at the top of PDCP layer and SDAP is connected to user plane function. In case of uh, control plane, two layer RRC and NAS are sitting at the top of a stack. Uh, 5G and R support carrier aggregation from the beginning. Data for each carrier is processed separately for each carrier in SDAP, PDCP, RLC. And multiplexed and scheduled in common MAC layer. This is same as LT release 10 and higher. A possible approach to solving the blockage effect is through the higher density infrastructure of a small cell. Basically, if transmitter is transmitting beam toward the destination user, but it is blocked by the some cluster you are building, in that situation, transmitter will look for nearby base station and yeah, a small cell of the user which can have line of sight link with destination user. This means that transmitter or macro cell is transmitting something in beam form, beam form but it is blocked due to the some cluster or building. In this situation, the macro cell checks that the user is nearby the base station or small cell is which can be missed with line of sight link. Then the transmitter transmits the beam toward the small cell base station or relay after that uh, uh, communication has happened. इस तरीके से कंप्लीट 5G एनआर का एक ओवरव्यू था जिसमें हमने वो सारे इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर पर डिस्कस किया जो 5G में इंप्लीमेंट हुआ है एंड आल्सो आई एम वर्किंग विद अनदर टॉपिक ऑफ 5G एंड एल इन डेफ्थ सो प्लीज हमारे चैनल से जुड़े रहें अगर आप इस वीडियो को यूट्यूब पे देख रहे हैं और मेरे चैनल पर नए हैं तो इसे सब्सक्राइब कर लें और इसके बगल में एक वेल बटन होगा उस पर क्लिक करके ई नोटिफिकेशन को इनेबल कर लें अगर इस वीडियो को फेसबुक पर देख रहे हैं तो प्लीज पेज को लाइक एंड फॉलो कर लें अगर आपको कोई क्यूरी है तो नीचे कमेंट बॉक्स में कमेंट करें अगर आपको वीडियो पसंद आया है तो प्लीज लाइक कर लें सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग this video by take care and also i am working with another topic of 5g and lt in depth so please hamare channel se jude rahe hain agar aap is video ko youtube pe dekh rahe hain aur mere channel pe naye hain to ise subscribe kar le aur iske bagal mein ek bell button hoga us pe click karke email notification ko enable kar le agar is video ko facebook pe dekh rahe hain to please page ko like and follow kar le agar aapko koi query hai to niche comment box mein comment kare agar aapko video pasand aaya hai to please like kar le so thanks for watching this video i take care